All right. All right. So now I'm going to just kind of make some changes here. Um, so again, I know I want my content that I'm going to add onto this strip to kind of be left aligned. So I'm going to click on my left alignment and I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some custom text here. All right. And now we have all of these types of theme text, right? So the, the goal here is to make sure that, you know, no matter what you add, you have the ability to kind of, again, just speed up the process and not have to physically change something every single time you want to add a new type of text, right? So I clicked on my heading one. And again, my grid lines are telling me that I can put this content anywhere from the far left to the dotted line over on this side. All right. So I'll just position that anywhere I want. I'll go into edit and I'm going to make some changes, but I want you to kind of pay attention to this area right over here by the little eye. Um, you're going to notice how it changes and gives me an option as I start to customize it. So I know I want this to be a size 60 and perhaps the client told me, look, use my font that I'm always using, play fair display. So I click on that and I want the color because I'm on this darker background to be white. And again, I'm pulling that white directly from my site colors. All right. Once I do that, I'll go over and I'll save my theme. All right. And now if you notice, if I even delete this, you know, and say, great, I'll finish tomorrow. I'm tired for the day. I can go back go back to add, back to text, back to heading, and now that text is exactly how I want it to be. And it'll stay that way unless I change that theme again and update it, all right? So I happen to actually know, you know, which content I want here. So I'm gonna go and pull it from another source. So again, I'm just gonna do a quick copy paste and we'll be on our way. All right, so as you can see here, like it's pretty much the way I want it to be. It's still within my grid lines. I got it looking pretty good. Okay, and now I know I'm gonna have some text that's gonna fall right beneath. So I'm gonna go back over to add, to text, and this time we're gonna grab a paragraph, right? And you have six different heading types and three different paragraph types. So I'm gonna grab my paragraph so and pop right beneath. Here's, here's a good question now, and I'm, I'm watching you design this, mm -hmm. and, and Carol brings up a good, a good point. You, you're dragging things outside of the lawn. Is that mm -hmm. gonna show for all views? Is this okay? Absolutely. Um, and the reason why is because I'm outside of the grid line of the canvas, but not in the strip. So again, everything that we do, we need to abide by the grid lines of the, the actual section that we're in, but not the entire page. So I'll show you an example. Right now, you'll notice how when I click inside of the strip, the grid lines are shifting, right? Because the grid lines and strips override the grid lines of the overall canvas. So although I'm like clicking the text and you might see those grid lines here, when I click in the strip, you can see that my content is still within the grid lines within that strip. Therefore, I'm safe. Now, if I built the same thing this exact way without a strip, then I wouldn't be able to click on the on the parent of that you know section and see that it was a part of a strip that was left aligned. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. We got it. And just like I customized my heading one, I know I also customized my paragraph one as well. And when I say all these like themes like paragraph one, heading one, I want to be very clear and let you know that. You know, these are not for SEO purposes, right? These are for theme purposes for the style of your site. Down below, you'll find the heading tag section where you can actually alter, you know, how Google read the content, you know, from hierarchy perspective, like H1, H2, H3, H4, and so forth. Um, and then you can actually use any type of definition for any paragraph using the P, right? So P's, P1, P2, P3 all falls under the P hierarchy structure for SEO purposes, all right? So again, it's, you know, you update your theme for design and then you go down and you change your heading tag specific to SEO, all right? And there we have that. And maybe I wanna go and maybe add like a different type of element here. So maybe I'll go into decorative, I'll take a line, pop a line in. And again, as long as I stay within that grid line, I'm pretty good, right? And I want my site to be consistent. So again, I'm just gonna pull, you know, I need to use my colors and my colors only. So I'll use the lighter tone of the gray and boom. And just like that, you know, we have a really simple way to kind of build that, you know, first section out. I haven't touched my header yet, but we'll do that in a bit. Um, but I'm just going to keep on customizing things up. Now, this is totally up to you now in terms of design choice, you know, how you want things to look and how you want things to feel. All right. So next up, I'm going to go in and just grab a button. All right. Third option down. I'm going to use my theme button and you'll see why later on. And just notice how when I first looked at this section, buttons weren't great. But when I kind of updated my site colors and then chose the theme button, now it's great. Right? So just notice how the colors that we set really just are pulled from, from any app that we add later on in the future, uh, which you'll see today when I add bookings as well. All right, so I'm just gonna resize my button here. I can do that manually. Um, and I could also go in and start to customize my design. Now, it's very important that we set themes up and I'm gonna show you why. So here, if I go into text and I try to find, I can first off try to play and say, okay, what size should I want? What style do I want? But why should I do that when I already know, you know, the style guide that I have? So I can actually go into font 
or into theme and I can actually go and find the one for paragraph one It's going to pull the exact same text that I use for the paragraph. And just like that, I'm just making sure I'm consistent, right? Automatically. And next up, maybe my button needs to be a different color, right? Because it is a call to action. So I'm going to go in and I'll change that background color up. Okay. And instead of it saying button, maybe we'll have it say get started. All right. And again, just make it a little bit bigger. And there we go. All right, so look at how simple that was to, to build out a section. And again, this is going to be a full width, you know, uh, design. It's not going to really limit us to anything. We're going to be able to break outside those boundaries. People will see the content on the tablet, and they will see it on the mobile, and they will see it on the desktop. So I think that pretty much solves that. Um, so as you that's can really, see, that's yeah, really fantastic. Yep. Yeah. You know, so as you can see, I was able to kind of like take, you know, um, a section, you know, from blank, you know, customize it, build it the way I wanted it to be, customize it, set my themes up. And now when I want to use these same exact themes later on different parts of my site, they're already there to choose from. There's no need to rebuild it all over again and waste that unnecessary time, you know, which again, just goes back into productivity and you can monetize all your time. So, you know, keep your eye on that. 